welcome back to the show, everybody. Um, this is Sharon, of course, you already know that. And this is my controlling co host, creative director, slash videographer, slash YouTube director, Jamal. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, you see our little disclaimer up there on the screen? Y'all see that? I'm sure you do. I'm going to give you a few seconds to read over that so you can familiarize yourself with it. And then we'll get into the video. How about that? Well, it looks like old Tiffany Tiff is at it again. This time, the one of the bank accounts of the village of Dalton has been frozen because they refuse to pay a settlement. Now, evidently, uh, the bank account had 900-something thousand in it, so they froze the account for 400-something thousand. 440,000, yeah. Yeah, but they originally settled out, out of court for $200,000 for attorney fees and all that, but old Tiff Tiff didn't want to cut the check. No, I mean, uh, you know, the, it was for 220000 but they the bank... Uh, was authorized to free double that amount, so that's why they they froze four hundred forty thousand. But they wouldn't pay the two hundred twenty thousand. The trustees said they approved payment, and the check was written was supposed to have been right. But evidently, no, everybody forgot about it. And this, even though this not in this story, that's forget. Dalton owes. Two people for a police chase that uh, Chief Lacey was involved in. When it comes dangerous, they're supposed to stop the chase, and Chief Lacey didn't stop that chase. So yeah, it, somebody died. Yeah, somebody died, and one person seriously injured. Dalton had to pay $33 million. And they hadn't paid that, has it? Still hadn't paid that. Then they forgot they owed the, the city water bill, the to another total. Around twenty or thirty million dollars. How you gonna forget your old water bill? They ain't forget. They just ain't paying it. <laughs> so that means they've been gone for years not paying this water bill. And they had they they're not paying the firefighters retirement fund mm -hmm. or the insurance. So, so the the firemen all their bills are being um, denied because had nobody been paying. So that means Dalton has a deficit of thirty three or no not thirty three but sixty million dollars mm. where's all this 20 million dollars Tiffany mm. said a small town 20,000 people got 20 million dollars in the bank right, account even if they had 20 million there they owe the water bill 20 million and owe, owe those two guys one died the other got hurt owe them 33 million mm -hmm. so they still don't have enough money <laughs> they still don't have enough money what and she said she, she runs the county like it's a business how yeah, bad she, business she run that business <laughs> into the ground now let's get into this video. BC5 exclusive, growing financial troubles in South Suburban Dalton. Failure to pay a debt has led to legal action on one of the village's bank accounts. As NBC5's Regina Waltrip reports, this is just the latest problem for the community as the mayor is the focus of a wide-ranging corruption investigation. Allegations of misspending, bills not being paid. In the small south suburb of Dalton, residents and governmental leaders have been speaking out about these issues for months. It's some trying times in the village right now. Now, more financial troubles. Last week, legal action taken on one of the village's bank accounts, leaving hundreds of thousands of dollars off limits. We served a document on the village's bank that requires the document to freeze twice the amount of the, judge, of the judgment, so in this case, the bank has frozen $440,000. David Graham is a former Dalton detective. I was there for 17. 17 years. In 2019, he won a whistleblower lawsuit against the village. After several failed appeals, the village settled and agreed to pay around $220,000 in attorney fees and costs. Attorney Patrick Walsh says the action on the village's bank account taken because it has yet to pay, even after the village board approved payment. Uh, the village of, uh, now what happened to all that money Tiffany says she always bring back a bag? She bring a, she bring <laughs> a bag or she bring an empty bag and filled it up. And she probably uh, emptied, filling up with all the wigs she got on. <laughs> no, she, she bring an empty bag to the office and she leaving it with it full. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Tiff, Tiff, Tiff. Another disgrace for Tiffany Tiff. Right, what do you expect? 
You don't never know what to expect with Tiffany. I mean, she's a thief. And, and, and she she got a mug shot that shows she's a thief. Thieves do what thieves do. So Still. why you think she's going to do any different? Mm -hmm. I remember in this one video she did, she was trying to say, let's give a lady a round of applause. She couldn't say applause right. She said, give her a round of applause. <laughs> now, now, we're here to talk about <laughs> Tiffany's management skills. <laughs> her talking skills. Her management skills, <laughs> which she doesn't <laughs> have. And she's running the village of Dalton into the ground. By the time the FBI arrests this woman, the village is going to be completely broke. Well, that's what happens when you get a hood booger mayor in office. She going to do hood things, talk hood, and act hood. Well, she doesn't know what she's doing. That's true. That's like giving your first rater the keys to your car and tell them to back it up. <laughs> So, right. that's, what Tiffany, that's what Tiffany doing right now. Yeah, somebody just gave her something. She don't know what to do with it. She think because she know how to act as a trustee. She thought she can be a mayor. I'm going to be a mayor, too. Mm. 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 This, is, this is a shame, and, and she can't be stopped. That's true. And even if the other mayor was stealing... At least he wasn't out and, and brazen, brazen just like you are, just running chaos. He probably wasn't stealing as much as mm -hmm. she was stealing. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Oh, we're going to play some more. Agreed in a settlement agreement to pay these fees. The court awarded these fees, and now they're just not paying it. A typical Dalton reaction for whistleblowers. They go against you, they retaliate against you, they're still retaliating today. Tammy Brown is a Dalton trustee. She says it's unclear why the judgment has not been paid. It says 809000 in the account and 440000 was frozen. That check was cut months ago. And why wasn't it given to that vendor? I don't know. I hope that the courts will see that everything has been going through and they award us that check so we can finally put this behind us. We reached out to Mayor Tiffany Hand's administration, but there was no response to our... See, the thing is... Yeah, she actually thinks somebody's going to respond to her. The thing is, even though you don't, did win the lawsuit, how much money do you think you're going to get after all the lawsuits that she got against her? Well, evidently they're going to get this money because the bank's already frozen. Yeah, that's true. So they go get this money. The, the other one might not get anything, but they go get it. And this woman knows Tiffany, Tiffany Henyard does not respond to reporters or nobody else. So, so why are you why, surprised? Yeah, wasting, why are you even wasting your time contacting? No, Tiff, Tiff's just a stain on the black people in a, her village. Well... They bought it on themselves by hiring, well, voting somebody in that was not um, qualified for the job. They did it because she was a black woman. Is that right? They voted for her for the wrong reason, and she keep using that. I'm black! I'm black! I'm black! I'm black. Y'all take a black woman in power. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Since you black, you can do whatever you want. Well, she said she's the dream that Martin Luther King was talking about. Is that right? So she 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 got in on that black ticket, and that's the ticket she keep holding on to. I'm black, and you you fighting and y'all black, y'all fighting against me. No, so she, they fighting against her because she is not qualified for the position. So she thinks since she black, she can do whatever she can, and nobody hold her accountable. <laughs> That was the ticket she won on. Excuse me, I'm going to dip my hands in this money and take it. But y'all ain't going to do nothing. I'm black. A black woman. <laughs> that, that was her ticket. That's the only reason she won. Yeah. She didn't win on qualifications. She didn't win mm. on anything special that she had done. She won mm. because she was a black woman. You can't. Sit here and think because you was a senior trustee, you qualified to run as a mayor. I just like another example, so I might understand. 
know, you are, you the head nurse. And the, and the surgeon uh, wasn't able to make it. So you go in and do the surgery. <laughs> but you were you a head nurse now. You, you, you done seen this. You done seen this operation done before. So she's seen it so she can do it. She can do it. Yep. Now, would you want that head nurse to cut you open and move around the body parts? I don't think so. Yeah, she say, I'm black. I'm black. I can do this. You wouldn't want that. So why would you want her? Why did you think she would do anything as a mayor? Who knows? Oh, her booger activity. She like that song, Scissor Said. Uh, I, I hide your bodies, mobbing, leaving, uh, looting, scheming. <laughs> Ain't no problem. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, that's a shame. How can you? How can you hold your head up? How can you walk amongst your your residents, knowing that you have done such a horrible, horrible, horrible job? See. There's so many things Tiffany done. I can't even count no more. I, I know. Mean, does she not care? Every day she thinks she go get away with. It. Now she done had three, a wrongful termination lawsuits, covered up a rape, and yeah. stealing firefighters money. Yeah. Shooting up her former opponent's house, her rental house. Yeah. Chase down the <laughs> activists. Chase down the activists. Then try to lie about it and say that he was chasing them. Yeah. She called the police on that activist, mm -hmm. said he was uh stalking them. He was he was uh trailing them and it was the other way around. And they was trailing him in another county they had no jurisdiction over. None. But they called the police and said that it was him that was threatening them. <laughs> so this Lord. woman was a thief, a liar, an incompetent. Con artist. Yeah. I mean, when will it ever end? She must. She must took Bernie Madoff classes. When <laughs> will Goliath fall? Who knows? She right now. She's Goliath. She she's bigger than life. No, nah, she's more. She's more like a leech. Well, <laughs> in her mind, she's Goliath. She's untouchable. Can't nobody stop her. Cause then that's what Goliath thought. Nobody would be able to stop him. But little David came with them stones and proved them wrong. Yeah, she a blood sucking leech. She want I won't say she a Goliath. In her mind, she is. Yeah, in her mm -hmm. mind, she can do all things. Mm -hmm. She can't do wrong. Mm -hmm. and remember, she said the favor of the Lord is upon me. <laughs> no, it's about what God has for you. It is for you. The favor <laughs> of God is not upon you. That's your other father. No, the Uga Booga father. Ooga booga booga. The devil. <laughs> that father mm -hmm. uh, got you. Mm. Well, I don't think there's much more we can really comment on this. But I, I'm just wondering. She's got a mother. she got a living mother. Can this woman not talk to her? Can't nobody talk to this illiterate hood booger. Can she not say, look, Tiff, Tiff. Let's sit down. Let's talk for a minute. Let's have a, a serious com conversation. Can can we do that? No, can't nobody talk to this woman. We know she's uh, literate. Think she whatever she huh uh, illiterate. You know you know what I meant. And can't nobody tell her. You think her mama gonna tell her something? She oh, probably, somebody she, mama can't tell you something. She now. probably talked to her mama that way. You think you think she check a mama? Yeah. Instead of a mama she, checking her. So I am the leader. Go sit down, mama. Did she live with her mama? That's what they say. I don't know how true that is. Well, um, I mean, if ahead. that was my kid, you gonna listen to me? <laughs> Look, you, you may not want to, but by the time we get finished knocking and uh, and throwing and getting down. You gonna listen. And it tells her, look, look, baby, it's time to leave town. You going to prison. Mm. He gonna be in the Federal Correction Center in North Carolina, in Butner, North Carolina. Goliath mm -hmm. don't think she's gonna mm -hmm. fall. Is that right? She's untouchable. So she thinks. And remember, remember we got this video from Fox NBC Chicago News? 
A like, share, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, do that. I mean, go down there and hit that thumbs up. You know, mm. it, it ain't gonna cost you nothing. Mm. Hit the thumbs up. Like my stuff. You know? And then, you know... Hit the subscribe button. Yeah, what's stopping you? Why don't you? Why won't you? That's all we said. And leave a mm. comment. What did they go by over old Tiff Tiff here in the, in the village of Dalton that want to pay their bills? Well, until next time, people, we out.